Overwatch 2 has come under fire, not just for the bugs, but for the publicly accessible custom games with themes such as Sexual Harassment Simulator. It is disturbing and has people asking whether or not Blizzard has done enough to protect all of its player base. Hey everyone, just a heads up that this story contains depictions of sexual assault and forced birth. Keep yourself safe and take care of yourselves. I've spoken on this channel a bit about the rocky start Overwatch 2 has experienced since its release. I'm still trying to actively learn about this game. I still don't know the names of certain heroes. I mix heroes up. I don't know what their abilities do. I fall off the map. I am still learning. When stuff like this happens, I literally cannot experience a game at its fullest potential. I lose out on teaching moments. Like I said in that video, games have bugs, stuff happens. But when your game is presented to the world, I have what I believe to be pretty reasonable expectations that you have the measures put in place to keep your community safe. But that is not what I saw on Twitter last Sunday. Lynn Magoo had shared a warning on Twitter saying, do not let your children play Overwatch. My 12 year old son found custom games within it, one called Sexual Harassment and one game that simulated female characters being raped. Thankfully, my son realized it was bad, closed the game and told me. Don't play hashtag Overwatch. Lynn is also the partner of famous Twitch streamer Lemmy, who added to this with, here's some screen grabs I found on Twitter of this Overwatch 2 sexual harassment simulator. Apparently it's been going on since the first game. It would be easy for Blizzard to prevent it, but they're not. This is a game marketed to 12 year olds. The screenshots Lemmy provided included sexual harassment simulator trending and another screenshot of many different rooms called sexual harassment simulator. The trending room had the description of of, this is version 1.2 of the new and unique sexual harassment simulator. Find new friends, live a normal life, and give birth to a child. A quick search of the YouTube channel brought me to two videos of what appear to be the custom game mode in action. In this first clip, a player is seen choosing to play the sexual harassment simulator custom mode where there then is text saying months of pregnancy in the top right corner. Eventually, it seems as if the player who is playing a character that is a woman is stunned, then teabagged, losing health until their death. They respawn with the mission changing the top right corner to go home and then wait until your baby is here. According to PCGamer.com, when you enter it, it forces one player to play as Cassidy against a team of strictly female Overwatch heroes. The top left of the screen instructs you to flash to knock down your victims, which refers to Cassidy's old Overwatch 1 flashbang ability and then says to teabag to f which is written with spaces seemingly to get around a word filter. As you crouch, text appears on the top of the screen that says raping. Enemy heroes are then marked as pregnant and eventually a Torbjorn bot is spawned to simulate a child. In its simplest form, it is a game mode that simulates rape and forced birth. To make matters worse, the first video I showed you was uploaded in May, 2022, while the second video was uploaded in January, 2022. This has been an available game mode for months. That was just one room I was able to find on Twitter, but there are other custom game modes with questionable titles. My coworker and I were not able to find sexual harassment simulator, but we did find other rooms labeled as 18 plus or with the phrase naked overwatch two girls, naked anime girls, and a lot for Tinder watch. According to that same report from pcgamer.com, Blizzard responded to a question about the sexual harassment simulator game mode saying, inappropriate or explicit content has absolutely no place in our game. We immediately removed the user created game mode once made aware of its existence. We are continually working to improve automatic filters to prevent inappropriate user created content and manually removing any that are not caught by the system. However, that same report confirmed that the unique five digit code that allows you to play the mode is still available. Anyone with the code could presumably turn it into a public game and relist it. It's possible to report custom game titles and descriptions through a button on the browser page, but for instances like this, where the mode itself violates the rules, there's no easy way to communicate that to Blizzard. According to that PC Gamer report, these custom games with labels like 18 plus are places to chill out and voice chat in. I do have a problem with Blizzard having all these rooms so easy to find and accessible for the entire population of gamers, some of which include children. The fact that I was able to find these custom games is terrifying. There are so many young kids who play these games and would have access to these environments. Kids play games. Kids are encouraged to play games somewhat and maybe a hot take coming in here. I think it is great that kids can explore rich universes and dynamic stories. These game modes are absolutely not a part of that. They are inappropriate and unsafe. Overwatch 2 has 25 million players, all who can mosey on over to custom games and search for this, or not even search for it, have it pop up as trending. Should Blizzard stop all custom games from happening? No, absolutely not. That would be ridiculous. However, they should moderate and filter their own products well enough so that things like this don't happen. Creating and playing a game mode that simulates sexual assault and forced birth isn't just a game. It is up and Blizzard need to do better.